Once in a like in the village, just 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 na 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 no buba fun in Greek. Just just Baba. Ano no just Baba. Oh wow! Anyway, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a sort of a different setup. It's not just going to be me talking, but we have a dear guest that looks exactly like me. So this is my little. No. My younger brother, this is Muku, yeah, and as you can brother. tell, yeah. as you can brother. tell from the title of the video, today <clears throat> we're going to discuss um, the importance of doing a master's from a Zimbabwean perspective. Because what I've noted is a lot of people uh, now a master's is no longer something that we sit down to actually consider. It's more like it's now a path that is obvious. Just like from grade one, you're going to grade two. So, yeah, so from a yeah, degree, you're going to yeah. do a master's. So we see a lot of mass production of masters. I have a master's, yes, and we're going to talk about that later on my own experience. But today, I just wanted to wrap in someone who's doing his master's and um, hear his views. <laughs> Pursuing a master's in strategic marketing. Strategic marketing. So, did yeah. you have? Do you have a marketing degree, or what is the relationship between your master's and your first degree? First degree. Okay, my first degree was first uh, degree. business business studies, mm -hmm. and when I was in business studies, mm -hmm. um, and I specialized, I majored in management. Mm -hmm. So there is a relationship between management and marketing. Yes, what exactly things. is the master's like what's the end what's the plan with the master's is yeah. it as i have mentioned that you just you know what you have a degree so you're not going to do a master's or you have like a game plan where you actually need a master's in your career okay uh my passion is talking right okay. so i thought uh marketing mm -hmm. would be a great field for me to talk so why haven't you marketed my youtube channel I've been sharing on 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 Facebook. Is that why they teach people in masters? To share YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have established that, the next question that I have for you is: Why a masters? Why did you choose a masters? Because if you want to do marketing, there are colleges that offer and ensure professional courses, courses. in okay. marketing. Why did you choose a masters? Okay. Definitely, my. Courses and mm -hmm. offer no more my colleges, my professional colleges are to a very good extent better than a master's itself. One a master's is relatively cheaper. Okay. It's cheaper. Are you like, sure? Yeah, it's relatively cheaper. As of now, I think the master's is costing like five thousand uh, RTG, RTGS dollars mm. per per semester, mm. right? With tea and bread on every session. Well, we uh, never used to get tea. Yeah, there's no tea and bread at the University of Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. But I think if you go for a professional course at Institute of Marketing in Zimbabwe, it's way more than that because it's in foreign currency, United States dollars. So a master's is cheaper. And the other reason why I did a master's mm -hmm. is I wanted to continuously improve. You okay. know, after doing my 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 first grade, mm -hmm. what was the next step? I think the next nat natural and rational step was to do my my masters, yeah, and the next available step was the masters. Okay. Yeah. So you are saying that you did your masters because it was the 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 best cheaper option, yeah. and from the options that you had. You, that had yeah. But would you, if you had everything, all the money, would you choose to do a masters? Uh, definitely. If, you could afford if the I could afford course. the professional course, mm -hmm. I could have done the professional course. Okay. Yes, one, okay. two. If I could afford a master's in strategic marketing mm -hmm. at an institution which is not in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. I could have taken that that thing. Mm -hmm. And also, if I could have an opportunity to do a master's in strategic marketing mm -hmm. at another university in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. 
Ako želi koji će da se da će se. Okay. Now you raise an interesting point. How important is it uh, how important is the university that you choose to do your masters in? Uh, in terms of uh, when you're making a decision of where to do your masters this come from for me when i did my masters it was like we are the same lecturers that were lecturing me uh, during undergrad with my postgrad lecturers yes. so how important is it uh, for you to choose a university the choice of a university in, in determining your masters okay i think it's very it's very key mm-hmm. you must not just for some of us uh, the only university has been appealing to us Mm-hmm. Me and you is the investor in Zimbabwe. Mm, speak for yourself. Okay. Because it, in Zimbabwe context, was this is the only one which we have been exposed to. Right. Okay. But I think it is not advis- advisable for a person who wants to do a master's in any field to do a master's with the invested Yaketa Nayo undergrad. Okay. Because after after the, 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 the undergrad, mm-hmm. the lecturers which you were seeing Mm-hmm. in undergrad mm-hmm. are the lecturers which you will see, which you will be seeing mm-hmm. in in the postgrad okay so especially if you are still in the same field or you are still on the same faculty so okay. the content is like it's, almost the same it's almost almost the same i can vouch for that it's, yeah. sometimes you actually just going through the same undergrad thing just that now you're just going to get a paper that's what you're a master but anyway, that's my own opinion for another video, yeah, right? So, so then, how was the experience, you know, um, with some of, not the academic, the academic of you're getting value, because definitely I believe you believe you're getting value, yeah. but how is the experience of studying a master's in Zimbabwe? Okay. Like the part-time, From... and I just heard you mention tea. Okay. Well, how is the experience the at the university? She's the list of, of my contents. How is your experience? If, the networks if, that if, you build? If, if they over some um, shows yeah. or something. How is it? Um, the network, the okay. everything. I think in Zimbabwe, for me, uh-huh. I think one one pro of doing a master's mm-hmm. is the links. Okay. So you're learning with people that... Exactly. At a point in time, I was learning with the now permanent secretary of the Ministry of Lands. Basera. Yes, Mr. J B Basera. Mr. J B John Basera. Yeah. Mm, okay. Then. Okay. We have so many CEOs in, in the in, in, in my class. Okay. And also the, the feeling that yeah, that's that's a that's a good environment because one or the other, those people if you're in a class with such people, mm-hmm. why they will be contributing and and etc. Those links are are really are really key. Okay. I think I, I I've gained from that more than the academics. Okay. Yeah. Well, how about like the pressure since you're doing a part time and you're also working? I'm also working. Yeah. Mm. How, is, how is the pressure? I think if you have a background, because what they do in 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 masters mm. is I think most of the people who do people do masters, I can see an lima field I now go undergrad. Point is. If you were in the commercial field, mm-hmm. if you did your masters, if you did your undergrad, really commerce, mm-hmm. the pressure would be not that much, because mm-hmm. the courses are going to talk, they are the ones and good those. But okay. if you have, if if you are a person from another field, mm-hmm. where commerce, yeah, the pressure will be, the pressure will be, will be, will be too much. Okay, so from your perspective, but I think mm-hmm. for me, there's no pressure here. Okay. No pressure, so no from pressure. your perspective, how important is it to have practical experience before coming for your masters? It's very important. Okay, for me, mm-hmm. as soon as I finished my 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 undergrad, before actually graduating, I had already applied for a masters. I didn't have any experience. Mm-hmm. That is really it's a drawback, mm-hmm. right? Because. Masters mm-hmm. experience, mm-hmm. right? Because they want the practicality, they want the applicability. Mm-hmm. So if you are learning the moon, yes, maybe as an as an as a commercial field, but who has been in the industry, let's say for twenty years or so, mm-hmm. he knows what the consumer thinks like. He knows what the consumer wants before the lecture even teaches him about that. Okay. You know that. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So experience, I I think, uh, really matters. 
a lot. He knows management because he has been facing my challenges with the people he has been working with and stuff. So he knows the practicality more than the theory. And that's what uh, a master's calls for. Okay. So what is the value of a master's money wise? Because I am about the money. Now I'm all about the money. Like, my passion is money as well sometimes. Okay. Well, I do have other passion, but like money makes me happy. So how is, how important is a master's in terms of money? Do you think that you having a master's will get you a better job? What are your hopes? A master's degree, mm. it doesn't necessarily make you money in the way that people think it will mm. make you money. Mm. But I think it imbues you with knowledge, which is sufficient to make you money. There's a lot of uh, new things that I have learned mm. from my masters, from the two semesters that I spent at the University of Zimbabwe doing my mm -hmm. masters, mm -hmm. that I think if applied correctly, mm -hmm. if applied as taught, they can make us money. If we learn with the intention of getting knowledge, mm -hmm. not with the intention of passing, not yeah, not with the intention of passing and getting better grades, I think we will get the money. But if we learn with the intention of getting better grades, we'll get the qualification, but not the money. Because we'll be not equipped with the knowledge, we'll be equipped with the paper. And the paper doesn't make you money. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Knowledge. I do get your point. Yeah. Uh, Don't so just frame and get my distinction and stuff. So from that's your perspective, um, you're saying that the... So you're not doing... Do you hope to have like a career in academics? Mm, no. So you're not going to pursue a PhD? I might pursue a PhD. For okay. the knowledge? Exactly. For the knowledge. For the knowledge. Okay. Not for the PhD in itself, but for the knowledge. Don't do things for qualification. Do them for knowledge. There's a lot of knowledge out there. But the problem is, it's not just for... If you ask, if, if you ask a person, especially from... These courses, which are not technical, mm -hmm. I, I classify accounting as a technical okay. course. But from these uh, courses, which are not technical, let's say from psychology, from sociology, from business management, from human resource management, mm -hmm. a day after completing his or her degree, he will be knowing nothing. Nothing. Why? Because even a, two days after writing an exam, he will be knowing nothing. Or come the same exam writer distinction, you'll be knowing nothing. So we are now producing one one of good grades, but who don't know anything. So it's better not to have a distinction if you want the money, not the job. If you want the money, you have the knowledge of how things are done. If you are doing business management, you have the knowledge of how businesses are managed. Okay. Not with a distinction or something. Okay. I think yeah. Okay, all right, I hear you. So now the other question that I have is, would you then? Uh, I think I already know the answer to that. But would you advise someone to do their masters straight from undergrad, like you did? Okay, um, it depends. It all comes down to the situation, you know, like. But it's best to do it when you're young. It's best to do it when you're young. But you are. So you would. One, you would advise someone to do a master's, and two, you would advise them to do it straight from under. Is that what you're saying now? Yes. After weighing in, but there are pros and cons to it. I do, I do understand that, but I just want to get a perspective from your perspective of yeah. what has worked for you yeah. and what you think you're gaining. Okay, and, I, don't, yes. I personally don't regret doing my master's from, uh, from university. But the issue is that they experience and stuff. Mm. But the problem would okay, but see how that you know that you could not check experience. Mm. You are most likely never going to come back again because after after completing your undergrad, you are a person in motion. Okay. The moment you lose that motion, you go or what the camp on Shanda for a year or so. That could be kind of Shanda for left time. Yeah. That's why you see when I snout the tumble girl that you come on master's work and stuff. Okay. Yeah. So in other words, you're very happy with the trend where people are getting a lot more people are getting masters. I think it's really necessary, and also people must not be demotivated by the current state of the economy. Mm. I think yeah, you must yeah. I'm also demotivated. Zimbabwe is frustrating, yeah. But no, I don't mean that. I what, what I mean is um, 
we I've heard this statement a lot of times to say go do your masters because you pass jana ka economy ita bo ningo wa kumbel. Is that what you're saying? Okay. In fewer words because of our time. We don't want to make the video too long. Okay. So. My point is right now it has been more easy it has been easier than before. I don't know if this is a word not more easy. <laughs> but it has been easier than before. Yeah. To be like even the investors in Zimbabwe, Tashkapa level we are now producing students not only for this uh, small market in around fifteen million this Zimbabwe market. We are now people are now being produced for the whole well, this is not a university in Zimbabwe. Uh, seven billion. No, no, no. Please keep your points short. We're not advertising university in Zimbabwe here. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not advertising university in Zimbabwe. But my point is, the current situation, Nigeria mm. money and stuff, must not demotivate you from doing so. I'm going to because you're not only meant for Zimbabwe. You are meant for the whole globe. Go to the end in Zimbabwe. So you think your Zimbabwe masters is very marketable on the global scale? <laughs> it's not <as> marketed as <laughs> as our language <laughs> would be. Right? <laughs> but I think in Zimbabwe, yeah, the the the, the investors in Zimbabwe. Yes, it's not really easy that way. But the investors in Zimbabwe in Africa, right? <laughs> okay. Is in the top hundred. Okay. That that's a very good score. That's a very good score. So mm-hmm. you can go to South Africa. You cannot. The problem is when I say could you, you are meant for the global world. Mm-hmm. They thought you thought of England. They thought of you can go to Uganda. All you right. can go to Ghana. Okay. To you wrap it to up, I am very sorry. My brother in his other life is an activist, so he tends to go on and on. But these are the perspectives of. Yeah, master's student. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two from my activist brother. Now, before and I think next time, you shouldn't find the 30 minutes. No, no, no. My audience, my audience can't get like, over, can't, can't really concentrate for 30 minutes. But we'll do like a live on Facebook if you want. So, <laughs> today, too. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for stopping by for our uh, for from in my channel was to work was working on bringing more and more guests on the show to talk about different careers and um if you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe. Please subscribe to that channel. Was done. You might also the like it and Please. also share this. Please subscribe. Sound off in the comment section so that when I also do my video, I can also take up um whatever you have uh given me as a point. Right. Thank you very much, and uh, see you in the next video.